for Bitcoin businesses, like um, training in Bitcoin entrepreneurship. Uh, and it's just like business courses, and it teaches you how to like run a Bitcoin business or the basics of Bitcoin for people who are interested in running a Bitcoin business. Huh. And when you complete the courses, you get like uh, you know cert certification, some kind of you know certificate oh, or something. Is that in Canada? Because I heard about something like that from Canada as well, where they're basically uh, p passing uh, out certifications to people who demonstrate sufficient knowledge in digital currency. Which is kind of, I mean, is it really necessary? No, it's in, um, it's in New York. It's based in New York. Oh wow. Okay. Nice. There's multiple but of those then. Starting out, it's starting out. They're only they're only going to make it available to um, accountants, attorneys, and financial professionals. But soon they're going to like open it up to everyone. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of like an extension of. Uh, was it last week we talked about the university classes? Um, yeah, I think that was, it's kind of like an extension ago. of that. You know, like it's like maybe a little bit more in-depth education on uh, digital currency. But the question is, how can, you know, I guess you'd have to do research on that in particular institution before you sign up for their classes or whatever. But like, how do you know that they are actually educating you about all the aspects of digital currency? Like when we talked about how, you know, Duke and New York University have those courses now. Like we were talking about, oh, you know, they just focus on the business aspects, right? Like if you just if they just focus on that, you aren't learning anything about mining. You aren't learning anything about, you know, cryptography or the underlying mechanisms. You're just you're I mean, you're basically learning how to be an entrepreneur with this new financial in instrument. And I, I would hope that the certification, you know, specifies that specifically. Like, this is someone who's an expert in digital currency entrepreneurship, not necessarily di digital currency protocols, you know? You, like, this person ne doesn't necessarily have any programming skills, but they do know how to run a business, you know, uh, that's based on top of programmers, or at least based on top of APIs. But, well, yeah, I think it's... Um... You know, I think that's on par with, uh, you know, business and the economy in general. Like, you know, there's going to be a dichotomy between um, finance and entrepreneurship and, you know, economics and theory. Like, you can yeah. you can be an accountant or some bankster, uh, you know, and know nothing about monetary theory, even though your entire career career is based on dealing in money. So I think, you know, I think both... I think you know both forms of education have their merits. This one obviously is more focused towards uh, business, and the university classes we talked about uh, a couple weeks ago. It's more like you know basic, basic theory and um, you know explain basic theory and mechanics of Bitcoin. Um, so. Yeah, there's a, there's a place for both of them, and they don't necessarily have to be part of the same school. Because uh, you can have you can have one without the other, and you know you can add value to the community without being an expert in both of them. Because exactly you can true. make yeah, you can make this big business uh, that provides a lot of value, maybe a you know or useful service to the Bitcoin community, yeah, like a killer um, app, maybe. Yeah, killer app. You develop it on one of the new APIs. Uh, you know, but then you could also be more academic and advance the actual economic theory uh, behind Bitcoin, which with my personal bias, you know, uh, as any regular viewers know, I have like, I'm a big economics nerd and I teach myself economics in my free time, you know, it shows how much of a social life I have. Um, so I would like to see more of the academic uh, classes sprouting up around Bitcoin because I think... Um, Bitcoin is just so crazy, like it challenges like all of the monetary theory that's been established thus far because it's all like, well it has to be a commodity, it has to be, like come from nature, it has to be a good that was used other than uh, currency at first. But like, we, like you said earlier in the podcast, there's people who are selling currencies purely because of their marketing uh, that have, you know, clearly no prior use value. So... There's, you know, 
obviously there's a lot of interest in it for me because there's just like this really kind of behind the scenes discussion going on um, between people like Peter Serta, Conrad S. Graf, and some people from the, the Mises Institute. I follow Conrad so on I'd Twitter like, now. He's pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah. so I'd like to see, definitely see more of that. Um, but yeah, I kind of got off topic there. But my basic point is that, um, you know, there's there's merits in both, and they don't have to be one and the same thing, because uh, they both can be valuable uh, without relying on the other. So Yeah. You know, that's a, that's a real testament to, like, how complex this space has gotten right like the fact that you can contribute something meaning meaningful to the cryptocurrency space and basically be specializing in one particular area of cryptocurrency and you don't even necessarily have to know how mining works you don't have to know how cryptography works you basically have a programmable currency now that people want to use that is useful for some things and if you could create create a brand new service that adds adds to the list of useful useful things that you can do about it do with it then yeah you can be successful you can make money off of that you can do something really really valuable with that skill so it's a real testament to like how how much this is, this is really expanded into the into the overall economy and and you know cryptocurrency applications and usefulness has, has really spread out its tendrils into into all kinds of aspects of, of industry, of the economy, of education, and like it's it's still expanding. We're still seeing this grow, even if even if stuff with like mining centralization is getting kind of funky for my tastes. It is nice <laughs> to see that you know that so much education is expanding and and things like that. So yeah, it, yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. Yeah, you know, but then again, like you said, um, it if they're not giving you know quality information, that would be an issue. But if something like this, you know, this kind of um, educational service, if it ends up being profitable, you know, which means that you know, people want it and they find it valuable, uh, then the quality would definitely improve because there'd be you know a whole new industry opening up in the way of uh, Bitcoin education. That would be pretty cool.